So guys, for the first method, you're gonna head over to search and type in Microsoft Store. Now, you're gonna right click on it and then click on App Settings. And then once this comes up, you're gonna scroll down and then click on Terminate. Now, you're gonna click on Reset and then click on Reset again. Wait for this to load. See if that works for you. If that's still not working for the second method, you're gonna head over to search and type in Check for Updates. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on Check for Updates. Make sure your computer is fully up to date. And now for the next method, you're gonna head over to search and type in change the date and time. Click on it. And then once you're on this, make sure your time zone is correct. Make sure you have set time automatically turned on. Now you're gonna scroll down and then click on sync now. Make sure that your date and time is fully synced up. And now for the next method, you're gonna head over to search again and type in Windows PowerShell. Now you're gonna right click on it and then click on run as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you're gonna copy and paste the command which will be down below in the description. So it's gonna highlight over this. Do Control C to copy it, come to PowerShell, and then do Control V to paste it, and then click on Enter. Wait for this to load. I'm gonna skip the video to when this will be completed. And now once the blinking cursor appears and it says Windows System 32, it's now been done. If you see anything red here, don't worry, it's fine, just ignore it. Now we're gonna restart our computer, and then the problem should be fixed.